Hi everybody, it's Emily from the Terrebonne Parish Library and I'm coming back to tell you a little bit about this week in history. So August 10th is National S'mores Day and you can celebrate by sitting around a fire and making yourself some delicious s'mores. Okay, I hope you guys have fun doing that. On August 10th, 1846, the Smithsonian Institution was founded thanks to James Smithson, which um, he did himself did not found the museum. It was money that was left um, after he passed away that was used to found the museum. But he says that it is in, in his knowledge that man has found his greatness and his happiness. No ignorance is probably without loss to him. Okay, and since its founding, the Smithsonian has grown to become the world's largest museum and research complex. It is comprised of 19 museums, the National Zoo, and nine research facilities. It is extremely large. So on August 13, 1899, Alfred Hitchcock was born. He is a very well-known English film director and producer. He is one of the most influential and extensively studied filmmakers in the history of cinema. A couple of his famous works include Psycho, The Birds, and Vertigo. On August 13, 1961, the Berlin Wall was erected. So it was put there to separate the people of East and West Berlin because of opposing governments. But then on November 9th, it was removed and the Berlin Wall remains one of the most powerful and enduring symbols of the Cold War. Uh, one, our president at the time said something like, he would rather a wall than a war. So we got the wall, but now the wall is gone. And, and the people at the time were like very happy to have the wall gone. They took axes themselves and just destroyed the wall, the people of Berlin. On August 15th, 1969, Woodstock Music and Art Festival opens. It was in the nearby town um, of Waukee that denied permission to hold the event. So dairy farmer Max Yasker came to the rescue at the last minute, giving promoters to access to his 600 acres of land in Bethel, New York. More than 400,000 people attended the event. And originally tickets were sold. However, once so many people started showing up to the event and breaking in, they had to make it free. The, the funders of the event eventually just made it free so that the people could come. And that's all for this week in history. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something and I hope you have an awesome day.